when I first came here to this area, um, <clears throat> I didn't know how white it was, number one. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, real talk. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't, right? I would tell, I knew, the only thing I knew about Indiana was driving through Indianapolis to get to St. Louis from New Jersey, because that's mm -hmm. where my wife is from, right? Okay. We okay. used to take that trip like three times a year. Yeah, I never went north <laughs> or 65 <laughs> north. I was straight through Indianapolis, right? But when I got here, and with all the the chaos in our, in, across the nation and, and how uh, policing African-Americans that we have seen all these videos of, right, of unarmed, uh, unarmed uh, African-American men, women, and children being gunned down, you know, the first thing I did was go meet the mayor and the chief of police mm. because I have a wife and three sons coming here too, right? And you need to know who we are in this community. And, you know, I'm a new faith leader in the community. And I know before I'm a faith leader in this community, I'm a black male walking in this community, right? So once I did that, and I, I think I was talking to one of the officers one day, and they asked me would I like to or consider being a, uh, one of their um, chaplains. And, you know, where I'm from, you don't ride around with police. <laughs> at all kind of you got to lose some street cred you riding around police talking yeah, about you doing the ride along you know yeah, what I yeah, mean yeah. but what I realized if I'm going to do justice I have to I have to not think about self it mm. is back to individualism right mm -hmm. I could have thought it just about me and been like I am not right I'm not going to do no ride alongs with police Try, but I saw something broader than that what I'm going to do is yes I'm going to except being a, um, I'm a volunteer to, to be a police chaplain. I'm gonna do ride-alongs with these police officers so that I can get to know them and they can also get to know me. Yeah, yeah. And that's bigger than just me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I shouldn't have to be the one who, who, who will demonstrate another side of blackness as a black male, you know what I'm saying? Because we're so weaponized or we're, you know, one, we have one bad apple, then we all got to wear, wear that burden. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and we shouldn't have to do that. However, I'm like, you know, if they can see me in a different light and if they can just recognize my humanity, right, then uh, it goes beyond just me, but all the other interactions they may have with African-American people. Yeah, That's doing justice to me.